You wanna know what sucks? Sitting to boring, deadly, horrific presentations on Zoom or Teams. You wanna know what sucks even more? When you're the person delivering them. Luckily, there is help on its way from an unlikely source. That source is PowerPoint. And they brought a new tool out called Cameo. And if you haven't tried it yet, you really should. So that's what we're discussing today. Stick around. Hey, welcome to Lead Loud. My name is Richard Mulholland. I'm the founder and chief presentation officer of Presentation Powerhouse Missing Link. Now, presenting online has proven to be difficult. For years, I've been primarily invested in a presentation software called Prezi. Prezi is fantastic. I'm a big fan of it. We've created lots of videos on the topic. And in fact, it has really, really taken my presentation game to the next level. However, often we recommend it to customers. This is a too big a learning curve. They just don't want to use something new. So we see them still wanting to share their screen on PowerPoint and deliver that way. My frustration is that it gets it all wrong. It puts the speaker way off to the side and it puts the slide, uh, you know, front and center. Well, luckily PowerPoint has a solution for that. It is a new tool that they have called Cameo. Here's PowerPoint talking a bit about it themselves. With Cameo, you can insert your video feed directly into a slide so you can be inside your presentation. To start, select Insert Cameo. A new tab appears along with a placeholder for your camera feed. Select the on-off icon to turn on the video feed. In a shared dock, only you see the video feed. If you have multiple cameras, select Preview to pick one. You can apply the same effects to your camera feed as you would to pictures, including shaping, formatting, layering, and styles. Use the anchors to adjust the placement and sizing. Even cut and paste multiple instances. The possibilities are endless. Use the morph transition to seamlessly move throughout the presentation. And when you're ready, you can present in slideshow mode or present in Teams. Teams automatically switches to Cameo mode, but you can switch to a different presenter mode if needed. Now, it's a super cool tool and it can do lots and lots of things, most of which you probably shouldn't do. However, it's very, very cool. And I want to demo to you right now. So let's jump into PowerPoint straight away. Uh, all right, so here we are inside Cameo. It's really, really cool. I'm actually in PowerPoint itself. This is just me as a full screen slide. If I wanted to, I could be up there with a regular slide and I could say like, hey, look, if we know you have taxis and apps and all of these things, I could also actually just put myself in a slide as well in a regular place. So social media making people have less sex. Now, if I was presenting online, I maybe want to have a bit more fun with this just to be here. Social media is making people have less sex. So I'd be able to get inside my slide and deliver content that way. You can have some fun with this thing as well. You could put yourself into <laughs> TED Talk. <laughs> Thank you very much. Or, you know, and breaking news and things like this and, you know, really, really share information. And it's super easy. All you're doing is you're inserting a block into PowerPoint. You know how to do it. You know, file, insert, shape kind of thing. It's that easy. In fact, let me show you because one of the things about putting yourself in a frame is a great way to do a demo. So if I'm inside PowerPoint here, all I want to do is to go up there to the Cameo button up there, hit Cameo, and a little square will appear and I can actually make myself appear. It looks kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> It looks like those blocks that you can see over there. That's what Cameo looks like. And so <clears throat> all you want to do is you might want to change the, the format. That's no problem at all. If you go to set it up on the camera format area, you can see a bunch of different shapes that you can put in there. And in fact, if you look up there where it says camera shape, you know, up there, boom, pop that down. And then you can choose any one of the shapes you want. So you could have this shape because I know you want it. Hey, okay? don't know why you'd ever use it, but you never know. Or you could have this shape. Mm, maybe you're trying to show a graph, a pie chart, and show you a market share and where you are. Or you could even have this shape. Never feel so lonely as you did tonight. Never seen you shine so bright. <laughs> <laughs> But the truth is when it comes to all PowerPoints, the number one rule of all PowerPoint 
Is it less? Is definitely more. Right? All you want to be is standing there delivering your presentation slide, your presentation content in the easiest way possible for people to understand it. So you'd probably just want to be a person on a slide delivering information in a way that your audience can best, you know, understand it. Now, what happens if you don't want to be uh, on the, you know, on a video call sharing it via Cameo? What if you just want to be sharing this deck normally with people, you know, on a stage at a gig? Well, turns out that's super easy as well. All you have to do is when you're in your edit mode and you see a little block, what block you ask me? <laughs> this block, told you I'd use it. When you see this little block, all you do is you don't turn that camera on. And if you don't turn that camera on, when you go into full screen mode, like slideshow mode, well, it just appears like this is a regular slide with nothing on it. So you're able to present your content that way. How cool is that? Uh, what I've been doing is if I don't want that to happen, I simply, uh, if I'm in a full screen slide, uh, and then, you know, obviously when I'm presenting live, I, I wouldn't be able to have a full screen camera. Well, all I have is I have my logo slide on and then I can, you know, just be a plain logo slide that's there. By the way, this is a top tip now that I've learned from presenting online that I really think is great. You don't have to have material on the slide at all times. Sometimes you can actually just have a blank slide or I just put my logo slide back up and my audience sees it and then they know to ignore it. Super cool, super easy. And you know what else is easy? Sharing this in Zoom. All you have to do is go into your slide share area. Most important thing here is to make sure you turn your camera off because you don't want two versions of you on camera. And then when you share your screen, just make sure that you've got it optimized for video clip and away you go. That's you delivering a presentation in Cameo. All right, so that's it. How cool is that? An amazing bit of software. Such a cool uh, toy to play around with. Cool tool to use in your next presentation. It really, really is fantastic. And when you move yourself around to the right, be at the right place at the right time, it is great for attention control for your audience. So I definitely want you to give it a shot. And in fact, if you want a way to give it a shot properly, we're about to be relaunching our service Talk Drawer as Atomic Talks properly in the next few weeks. We'll be turning some of the world's top books into presentations that you can deliver for free to your team. And we'll be providing you with everything you need to pull that off. So if you haven't yet, definitely hit subscribe because in the next week or two, we'll be announcing how you can get involved. And there will be details down below how you can sign up to our mailing lists to make sure that you get notified as well. It's super exciting. It uses Microsoft Cameo and it's really cool. However, you don't have to wait for that because I've shown you what you need to know in order to liven up your presentations. So definitely get doing that. Keep leading loud and lead loud. Huh. Later.